Yusuke Murata, the artist of One Punch Man, is considered the best manga artist alive today, and I'm gonna try to draw just like him. But this is gonna be a difficult challenge, and in order to succeed, I'm gonna need some help from our friends over at XP Pen. They just sent me this big guy, the Artist 24 Pro Gen 2, a monstrously beautiful and massive graphic tablet, and it just came out today. Without a doubt, this tablet has next generation smoothness. It feels so incredibly creamy and good to draw on. I just, I can't stop drawing on this thing. It's so fun, it's so beautiful. It feels like a $5,000 tablet at just around 1,000. It's a new benchmark for color performance, and with the 165 hertz refresh rate, basically no latency when you're drawing. It's just unparalleled smoothness, sharpness, and clarity as you're drawing. So one thing that's like really helped me kind of get started with getting better at the anatomy and kind of the positioning it is just really to like be very free and flowy and, and like not worry about anything when I start. I don't consider myself a good artist. It's a learning process. It really does take literally like your whole life of, of practice. You can't just pick up a pen and get good. Like you, you legitimately have to train and train and train. And um, you know, even I, like I, I still struggle. Like we all have weaknesses. And if you wanna get better, you have to force yourself to do what you're bad at. And it's uncomfortable and we hate that, but that's how you improve in anything in life. Even when you do like weightlifting, like resistance training, you get better by making it harder. And there's more to it too. In fact, whenever you do something that your brain's telling you no, don't do it, such as trying to draw an uncomfortable position or something like that, and you do it anyway, a piece of your brain actually grows. Uh, Andrew Huberman was talking about this, and it's almost like a way to increase your intelligence by continually putting yourself through discomfort. Um, and anytime your body says, no, don't do that, it's uncomfortable, but you force yourself to do it, you literally become smarter, and you literally, you're, you become more resistant to stress because my brain's like, I'm not just gonna listen to whatever my body wants. Like my brain knows what's best. And that is practicing very tough things. Also, they just upgraded their pens for Gen 2 with the X3 Pro chip. So creamy and buttery smooth with 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. And you actually get two pens as well, a skinny one and a fatter one for big guys like me. It also comes with this wireless keyboard or, or macro pad, you could call it. And you can just hold this thing in your hand and just simply zoom in, zoom out, erase, change your brushes, all from the palm of your hand so you're not reaching all over the place. This thing is incredible. I mean, it's actually like revolutionary for using art programs because you speed up everything like tenfold. You're able to completely take out your hand movement of tapping to change a color or tapping to change a brush and it's just all happening instantly. This macro pad alone, is it was geniusly designed. It fits perfectly in your hand, your thumb can hit every single button by itself, and you can actually literally even hold it in any position you want, and it still works the same way. It's amazing. And so when you practice very tough things, you might not be that good. So, you know, maybe don't maybe don't show it right off the bat, but, uh, you know, work on it. I mean, if you keep attacking your weaknesses, they eventually will, will turn into strengths. And that's kind of like what I've been trying to do. There's also a lot of techniques to learn. It's, it's not just, just draw and draw and draw because sometimes you might be using improper technique or something like that. <clears throat> And in doing so, you're not improving. So not only is it practice, but it's also a crap ton of studying. And it is a hell of a life journey. And that's why like people are so passionate about, about the art. It is this, this very long, difficult life journey. Everybody's kind of like in a, in a different spot. And you see people who are so good and it makes you easily feel uh, inadequate, easily. It's not inadequacy, it's just that everybody is on their own path and it takes everybody a different amount of time. Some people it takes more than others. I absolutely love like this just kind of Clip Studio Paint, this like free, free, flowy drawing. It just feels so creamy. Like it just really like makes me want to draw like all the time. I, I know this is a sponsored video, but this tablet is just so godly, man. Like it, 
it really does make a big difference. I mean, I started on a tiny little tablet that was like this big and it didn't have a screen. And this is like, this thing is like pretty much the best you can get. And it is, whoo, uh, I've used a lot of tablets in my day and never had anything close to how good this is. <laughs> it's, it is amazing. It is uh, like a 12 out of 10. I, I, I have zero criticisms. I've had zero problems with it. And it just drawing on it feels like ecstasy. Like it just, it's amazing. This, this definitely is, um, this is the tablet for sure. I mean, I, I just like, I can't stop drawing on this thing. I'm having way too much fun. Oh, and look at that. I can just turn the pen around and then just erase. It's so awesome. <clears throat> I was trying to do like a flying punch here, but I think I already messed it up because if I'm going to do a flying punch, Saitama's eyes should be down here like this. And then his nose should be like coming off. Don't worry, yeah, you know, just scribble if you if you need to, it's fine. So this is his the crown of his head. These sort of things kind of like just help figure out like the placement of the eyes and the ears and all that sort of stuff. But I kind of wanted to like have him like flying with this punch. I don't know if it's gonna work. But that's how that's why you experiment. I mean, yeah, you have to try things and like <clears throat> that's the thing with animation too. Sometimes you just you try an animation and it just doesn't work and you spent like a week like two weeks on it And it's just a, literally just a waste of your life like it's gone I mean you got some experience, but sometimes that's what it takes to get better It's literally just practicing just by being free with it like I can Figure things out a lot easier, you know, the hand is cool, but it's like a little too big like I'm trying to do the foreshortening you know, and, and and this this just makes it easy to like reposition and resize everything until you get it right. And don't worry about being perfect. I think a lot of artists put a lot of pressure on themselves. Just do whatever you need to do to make like your best art, you know? Then what I can do is I can take this layer, I can lower the opacity. And then what I can do is I can take like a different pen and like a, a G pen and start to do the line work for it. You make your little sketch, you free flow it, you have some fun with it, you don't worry about it, and then when you, you play around with it and just have fun, like that's one of the things that I've realized that like really helps me, is not worrying about what other people think, and not worrying about improving, it's just like, really have fun with the art, like literally just do it for fun. And when you do it for fun, without any pressure, you start to, um, be able to have more freedom to like try those things that maybe you're bad at and not just have to do things you're good at because you want some likes online, but do things you're bad at and purposefully to challenge yourself. And that's really what I did here with this. I, you know, I feel like I leveled up maybe like a point or two with this challenge. I definitely did not become Murata, right? But um, put by pushing myself and putting, setting a standard for myself, I did improve a little. A tiny bit, but that's what it takes. The artist journey is a lifelong journey. There's a lot of learning to do and you have to be open-minded and practice a ton. Also, the cable management is awesome. It only requires a couple cords and you just plug it in, download the software and you can just start working immediately. Some of these other tablets, you have to go through hoops and bounds for installing their software. There's issues with Windows. You need like to delete old drivers and it can be complete chaos. I've never had a problem with XP Pen. Legitimately, not once have I ever had a problem with any of their drivers, software, or tablets, literally not one, ever. And I've, I've probably tested about eight of their products. Once my daughter saw me drawing on it, uh, basically she will not let me draw anymore because she takes it over. So it makes an incredibly good gift for kids. And yes, it is compatible with Mac, Windows, and Android systems. And honestly, I just love having this amount of workspace because the tablet is huge and since there's no buttons on it, all the buttons are on this guy here so they can make the screen surface area even bigger. So you just get so much area to draw. It, it's, it's really fun. Like use it with Clip Studio Paint, which is the best art and animation software in my opinion. Photoshop's decent too, uh, but Clip Studio is specifically designed for manga artists and painters. And it has like a million tools for manga. It's, it's really good. And you don't have to pay a monthly service for it. So my suggestion is get this tablet and get Clip Studio Paint and you have unlimited fun that you don't have to pay another penny for ever again. So I wasn't able to to become as good as Murata, but I did have so much fun with this and it really reinvigorated my love for drawing again. I just keep looking at it. It's so sexy and beautiful. I just keep looking at it and I'm like, I wanna draw right now. I, that is what this thing is doing to me. 
it it has re-inspired me like legitimately it's it's just too much fun at least just as an artist to start drawing again uh and being peaceful with it and trying to improve in my own way without any pressure on my shoulders if you're looking to upgrade or get into the digital art scene look no further this is the tablet and if you guys use my code master 5 at checkout you can get five off. Each Artist Pro 24 Gen 2 165 Hertz is factory calibrated with 3D LUT for unmatched color accuracy and uniformity, achieving an industry top tier level. Delta is less than one in sRGB, and this is a professional grade color accuracy that meets the rigorous requirements of creative experts, enabling top class designs and allowing professionals to enjoy precise color performance in an exceptional creative experience. With a high color gain, it, seamlessly switching between sRGB, Adobe RGB, and Display P3 for true to life colors. Links are in the description. Get yourself an XP pen today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.